It takes patience and persistence okay. to crack a cold case. Because we have multiple missing person cases that we don't even know about. Sacramento Sheriff's Deputy Paige Nealon says dozens of missing person cases took place before computers became popular. Many of these cases are older that they predate databases. And so we may not even know that these cases were reported in the 60s, 70s, and even the early 80s. But that may change this June when the Sacramento Sheriff's Office launches a new program called Missing in California. You'll be able to submit DNA, you'll be able to submit military records, and add additional information to a maybe already existing missing persons report to try to assist in that investigation. Law enforcement will be teaming up with the coroner's office and others to solve cases that have tormented families for years. And they're hoping that additional photos and medical records can help identify a suspect and a victim. It's the biometric information that helps the most. Fingerprints, um, high, not only height, weight, hair color, eye color, but prior surgeries, prior broken bones. Sometimes the missing person is later found alive, as in the case of J.C. Dugard, who was kidnapped at age 11 from South Lake Tahoe in 1991 and then discovered 18 years later in the Bay Area where she was held captive by a convicted sex offender. But in many cases, missing person cases go unsolved. Investigators like Paige Nealon are hoping missing in California will make a difference, even if the story ends in a coroner's office. Being able to tell them, hey, now we found them and give them some sort of closure, now they know. And, and that's, what they, that's their first thing that they always tell me is, thank you, now I know what happened.